If you are trying to change or rename a folder or file in System32 folder in any Windows, I would not recommend it, as it may cause security issues and also make the operating system and programs unstable especially you accidentally delete some important files. However, if you require to make these changes for certain troubleshooting requirements such rename CMD and Utilman after successfully reset your Windows passwords then you will have to change the permissions so you can rename them without any issues. Let's go into the System32 folder. Then, right-click on the CMD file select Properties at the bottom of the context menu. Click the Security tab. Ignore the group or usernames box was at below. Let's focus on the Advanced button. And click on Advanced. If you are prompted for an administrator password then type the password. This is important that you click on Change beside Owner. Type everyone, click on check names and click on OK. That mean you want the owner becomes everyone. Once you see an owner becomes everyone. Next step, you want to add a principal option. You then choose the trusted installer option in this case. You should click on the Apply button and then finally click the OK button. But I click on the OK button, well. It takes me back to the previous screen. It doesn't matter. I just click on the Advanced button again to go back. Then you choose Trusted Installer option. Click on the Add button. It will go directly to the principal. Then you choose the select a principal option. Type everyone, click on check name and click the OK button. Then the basic permissions allow you to tick most boxes. Click OK to accept then. It takes you back to the screen advanced security settings for CMD. Then you click on the apply button and finally click the OK button. Done. Now you have plenty of permissions to rename or delete a file. Thanks for watching. If you would like to see more, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Leave a thumb up on this video as well as share it to your friends.